Hi there, it's Michael from Transpera, and today I want to show you a little bit about the Excel editor. What's it for, and why do you care? Well, first of all, it's for the initial setup for making changes and for rapid prototyping of KPIs in our product called Visual KPI. This thing is all about configuring the data up front and is not involved at all in the runtime later when we display web pages and distribute data out to handheld devices. First of all, why do we build our fat client or our rich client in Excel. Well, everybody knows Excel. Everybody knows how to use spreadsheets. And so we figured, why not inherit and leverage all the goodness that comes from something like a Microsoft Excel, where there's hundreds or maybe thousands of people working on building this product into a very cool spreadsheet. Well, what we did is add in this right-hand pane. It's called the Document Actions pane. And this is a Visual Studio add-in for Excel that lets us put all of our buttons that interact with our server over here and separate that from all the buttons that interact with the client or your desktop. So the Excel editor works in Excel 2003, 2007, and 2010. So we're pretty much ready for whatever you throw at us. Let's take a quick overview of the user interface. Every line in this system is a KPI, and every column is an attribute. We've got our attributes grouped into collections. So the first collection that you see here in light blue, this is going to be the KPI name and the data sources and the current value. How to evaluate basically whether to turn a KPI red, yellow, or green. You have the high value, the low value, the min, the max, etc. The next section is whether to display the KPI or not. Status, interface, some other stuff. Then there's the responsible party section. This tells us who we should notify in case the KPI deviates from expected behavior. Now, that notification can be a single person, a list of people, an Active Directory distribution group, or even a variable that resolves at runtime to somebody or somebodies, and they get the email that's appropriate if something goes wrong. So it's good for dynamic situations where the responsibility for a reactor or whatever changes over time. Finally, over here, we've got some user-defined metadata, and this is really the heart and soul of our product. This is where you define how a KPI relates to the rest of all the KPIs and the scorecards and the views in the system. In future videos, you'll see how to put all this stuff together, and each individual part will be made clear, whether it's a KPI, a scorecard, a view, a link, or a trend. So please join us for those future videos. This was just a quick tour uh, to get you oriented. And as always, you can get more videos at transparent.com. Thanks for watching.